Every time we eat, it's a trigger for our stomach to start producing acid for to digest all the food that we eat. And um, soon after a meal, uh, that's the time when our stomach has the most acid. So soon after that, um, if the food doesn't go down quickly enough and the valve above it is loose, so all that food just sorts of refluxes back or regurgitates back into our esophagus. Now, during the day, fortunately, we're up and about and sitting and walking and, and, and on our feet, so some of that acid eventually drops back into the stomach. However, if you eat a big meal close to bedtime and then soon after you go to bed and that valve is faulty, all that acid comes up and stays in your esophagus all night and continues to cause acid problems and acid reflux um, and to the point of causing severe inflammation, which could be painful at times. So uh, what we are bringing to Chattanooga, which is just uh, novel to, uh, to a lot of patients that uh, we see here, it's called TIF, T-I-F, and what it stands for is transoral, meaning it's something done through the mouth, uh, transoral incisionless fundoplication. So it's basically repairing the lower esophageal valve to prevent a lot of acid that comes up endoscopically without putting an incision anywhere on your body. What we do is we first go in with an endoscope. We have a look inside your esophagus, make sure that there's no precancerous areas which are as a result of long-standing acid reflux. It's a condition called Barrett's esophagus. We look for any large um, hiatal hernias, which is another something which causes acid reflux where part of the stomach is just pulled up into your chest and worsens an acid reflux problem. Um, then we go down into the stomach, look and make sure there's no cancers, there's nothing um, uh, inflamed in there. And what we do is we then insert um, a special device, which is specially made to do this procedure, which is the TIF procedure, where uh, we go in through the mouth, into your esophagus, then down into your stomach. And once we're there, we're exactly looking at as how big that hernia is. And if it's a small hernia, what we usually do is we have certain instruments as part of that whole device, which pull down the stomach back into your abdominal cavity. And we um, wrap the, part, the top part of the stomach around the esophagus, and it creates the whole valve that is faulty. And we put um, some fasteners in there, which would be um, like putting sutures in uh, around your stomach. And we kind of create the whole wrap around your stomach. So what it does is three things. It, uh, it takes care of the hiatal hernia. So we fix a hiatal hernia, which is small, uh, that we can fix. Number two, we can create that, that same natural anger that we're all born with, which naturally prevents acid from going up. And the third thing is we, we reconstruct that, that lower esophageal valve so that it doesn't lead to the same amount of acid reflux um, that otherwise it would. I'm really excited. I think this procedure is really going to bring a lot of relief to a lot of our patients who have this problem. Um, previously, uh, people who had large hiatal hernias um, and had this acid reflux problem, we had to get them through a, a surgical process, which is surgical fund application, uh, which now has been uh, done laparoscopically. But I think if we're able to give them an, an incisionless procedure, uh, which only takes about 40 minutes, and they're able to go home within 24 hours, I think, I think that's going to really help with a lot of patients who, uh, who really need this kind of procedure.